guys. My name is Paul Brumbaugh, and we're on a special segment of the Edge of Insanity. I'm sitting here in quarantine and space, shelter in place, um, but I'm doing it with my friends, as only I can. I'm sitting here with a local Bay Area comedian, Mike Osborne. Mike, how you doing, buddy? Comedian slash musician, doing good. Comedian <laughs> slash musician. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can't add that to mine. I'm sorry. I, I only sing in the shower, uh, yeah. in the car where nobody can hear me. But you're you're taking care of people out there. Not only you're one of those essential workers right now. You're going yeah, out and actually true. gigging and uh, going to uh, the the retirement homes and the the board and care homes and singing to our uh, highest in need right now. Yeah. How's that feel, dude? How does that is that it's great. It's much harder than normal because I have to like be outside the building and they're, you know, having their windows open and I'm kind of working my way around the building and I'm doing some online like we're doing kind of, um, but it, you know, it's, it always feels great to bless other people. So right. that part of it's the same for me. Well, that's good. That's good. I'm glad that you're able to do that. Um, and, and that you're able to, spread your love so to speak uh as a comedian it's been really hard for us to sit in place we're doing a lot of different um like zoom stand-up comedy shows virtual comedy stand-up shows um yeah. but you know it's just we can't really do i guess we could do pantomime outside the windows for these people but <laughs> but i'm glad that you're doing that i'm glad that you're doing that now this has been hard on everybody's economy, um, especially us artists, man. I, I, I want to let yeah. you guys know that I'm going to be sharing some links with you during the segment. I'm going to be sharing uh, uh, some stuff for art artists. Like I've said in other segments, I, I'm going to be sharing PayPal and Venmo links. I'm also going to be uh, sharing a special link for you guys that Mike is sharing with us. You guys can actually get up to two albums of his music downloaded for anything that you want to donate to them. Um, again, this is going directly to the artist, and a lot of these links are going through either PayPal or Venmo if you happen to be dealing with PayPal. Let me tell you right now, this is one thing I'll say from all of us artists, when you're giving to artists, you're not just our fans, you're our family and friends. Why do we say that? Because we don't want PayPal to get their cut. No, we say <laughs> it because we love you. We say it because you're really loved. No, we, we think you should use the friends and family PayPal thing. That way nobody gets a chunk of our pie. Um, yeah. But with that said, um, it's been hard for us to survive, hasn't it, Mike? It, it, how's it been with yeah. you? I mean, I'm, I, I can't even stand on a corner with a, with a sign that says, I will tell jokes for money right now. Yeah, it, 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 was, uh, it, it was very sudden and it was completely devastating. I mean, it just all of a sudden overnight, you know, over 90% of my work was just gone. Right. And there was no way to kind of prepare for it or see it coming or, to, you know, it just, uh, it's been just incredibly devastating. I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> no, it has. It, and, it, and, it, and like you said, it was so sudden. Um, yeah. I know that a lot of this stuff has kind of unfolded in, in, in with the government and uh, the health officials and stuff. But for us, it was pretty sudden. A lot of us were working up until, you know, the day of some of this stuff. Um, with us uh, as comedians, I know that, you know, sometimes you're going to, let's say, an open mic and there's 30 people that have touched that microphone. Right. Uh, not only, you know, we started seeing uh, first, at least uh, with the sports, uh, we're only going to perform in front of no crowds or a selected crowd or just the family to no sports at all. That yeah. that must be frustrating. But if I was a basketball player, I could still go grab my basketball, go out in my half court in my driveway and shoot some baskets and kind of feel better about myself. I, mm -hmm. I can't really go stand in front of the mirror and recite my jokes and relieve some, yeah. some heartache. <laughs> yeah, it really involves that crowd interaction. And, you know, even what little you can do over the Internet, much of that crowd interaction is taken away. It's not the same beast. 
No, it's not because I mean I guess there's some release for you that you're able to play music for yourself and be able to get it out of your head and out of your out of yourself. But then there's that connectivity, like you said, that push pull connectivity that we have mm -hmm. as artists with the audience. That if we don't have that, it kind of takes the wind out of our sails. It kind of lets the air mm -hmm. out of our balloon, right? Mm -hmm. So. I'm glad that you're doing okay. I'm glad that you're healthy, my friend. Um, but, Thanks. you know, I, I kind of did this for a selfish reason. I, I know you're probably going, what do you mean you did this for a selfish reason? <laughs> I needed some music, dude. I needed some music, and you just don't post enough. I need more of your you're stuff right. online. Um, <laughs> I just saw, I just watched uh, your latest video, Family Crest from Unbroken, and it just blows me away. Um, Thanks. The, the artistry, the music... Uh, the person who put it together your video. Yeah. Um, the only thing I wanted more is I wanted more of you. <laughs> I wanted more of you and I wanted more of the band. I think I, I missed the days yeah. of the old, um, like Stevie Ray Vaughn videos. Yeah. You know, some of those things were yeah. funny, like Love Struck Baby and stuff like that. But some of them yeah. were just him and the band rocking out. But that's that's kind of yeah. what I miss. But that that's why I called. That's why I called. I'm selfish. I need some music, dude. I'm gonna play yeah. Family Crest for these guys later because I think they really got to see this video. It's a great job that you did on it. Uh, did you have yeah. fun shooting that thing? Yeah, I really did. It was a lot of fun making that. It's a wonderful director and crew, and uh, I can't say enough good things about them. That's awesome. Yeah, it yeah. looks like you did a little bit of acting there, man. Got you, <laughs> got you a little dirty. Got you in the surf. Got you in the sand and the water. And that's right. Yeah, I've almost forgot about that. Yeah, when I'm playing the ancient version of me. Uh, <laughs> Wait, hold on. That's the ancient version of you. Okay, good. Yes. I'm glad you're that's interpreting what the this about. video. It, it is okay. The song's about my ancient ancestors' life sort of juxtaposed against my life today as a as a professional musician and drawing conclusions as to uh, how how different it would seem but in many ways how how much the same it is right yeah so but, it, yeah i'm going go ahead i'm sorry buddy i was just say if you listen deeply enough to the lyrics you'll get that if you don't you won't but the cool thing is the song still works even if you don't get all those extra meanings out of it you know <clears throat> No, that's good. I'm I'm glad, and it is. It, I I really enjoyed the video. I want to play that for him. But I I want some live music. I want something new. I want something for me. Um, you know, I, I'm just gonna do some requests again. This is selfish kind of thing, but you know that one song I love of yours. It, it's that one. Some will fall. Oh uh, yeah. I Tell me a little one. bit about that, and then give us a little taste, okay? We've been doing that live with the band. Um, I recorded a solo acoustic version on a an album I made called Unplugged right before I did Unbroken. And, um, Oh, it's part and, of the Un series. Yes. The Un series. Um, I love, I love that song too. It's, it's, it's kind of a philo philosophical, it's a little philosophical in its message. And, but musically it's just good kind of hooky kind of, you know, usually I can watch people's bodies start moving as soon as I start into the song musically on stage and, and so I like I like a song that works at different levels. I guess if that if that hasn't apparent by now. <laughs> okay, cool. That sounds good. Um, let's do that. Let's go with uh. Let's go ahead and go with your. I, I put up the links for you guys, by the way, on the bottom here. I'm putting up the links for you guys so you have time to write this stuff down. Uh, we've got the two album special deal plus uh, the Venmo and PayPal links for all my artists. This one's for Mike. Um, everything goes directly to the artist so don't worry i don't even get a cut of this stuff guys so uh make sure we do this uh for right now it's mike osborne with some will fall folks let's do this mike don't try to tell me life ain't worth living don't try to show me what it's all about only a fool would mess with the mystery and 
call me the weak Who would take the easy way out Some will walk the line Some will crawl, some will see heaven And heed the call, some will make a stand God in the wall, some will rise up strong Some will, some will fall darkness does the truth come knocking where in this night do you try to live where in the pain do you lose your voices it's one short struggle all you have to give some will walk the line some will crawl some will see heaven Show me no mercy if I grab the lightning and the hills full of heroes who gave up their time. Some will walk the line, some will crawl, some will see heaven and heed the call. Some will make it stand. God in the Awesome, man. That was great. Thank you very much. That was Some Will Fall by Mike Osborne there. And uh, again, along the bottom, we have that uh, special offer for uh, Mike Osborne right there. Uh, there it is. Get the two album downloads right there. MikeOsborneMusic.com. Go forward slash Mike hyphen Osborne hyphen donation to get those two albums. You can... Donate any amount you want. The only thing is it has to fold. It can't clink. In other words, these guys won't take anything less than a buck. So the buck starts here. Doesn't stop here. Back here with Mike. Mike, so you're in the East Bay, right? Where are you at? Oakland, I'm in the right? South Bay, San Jose. Oh, you're in San Jose. You're in the yeah. South Bay. Things are tough in that county right now. Things are really yeah. tough down there. Um, have you been yeah. out much? No. No. <laughs> Not much. Um, saving a lot of money on gas. And you're right, I haven't been great about posting and putting stuff on there. I don't know. I, I've been through sort of an emotional roller coaster ride these last few weeks. And uh, you'd think, hey, more time on your hands, you could do. I could do more online, but I, I probably will start. But the other problem is I'm not techie. I'm not a real tech guy at all. Right. I'm, I'm a bit of a caveman <laughs> when it comes to this kind of stuff. Well, a lot of us were thrust into this, right? A lot of us were kind of not really. That's why we got out. Give us a microphone, right? Mm -hmm. Don't give us a PC. We're not yeah. the geek. I mean, I, I used to play video games. I was that kid. But yeah. uh, no, I... Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm just enough tech savvy to get myself in trouble, as you guys can see by this podcast today. <laughs> so, um, but no, I mean, I, I'm just very fortunate that we're all here and we're able to express yeah. ourselves in some form. Well, you know, thank you for calling on me and uh, I really appreciate it. It's great. I, I, the last time we did this, we were live and in person and uh, I got got a chance the one of the other guests was george carlin's brother i'll never forget that that was amazing to to be there and chat and interact with him and hear what he had to say he's a <laughs> yeah patrick like carlin's brother. i tell you that guy's a kick he he just keeps going uh he had in the beginning of this whole epidemic he actually had a problem with um he had a problem with um having a head cold 
and Uh-oh. and and we thought okay as long as it's not the virus we're okay yeah and so uh no he had a head cold had it for about six days and he did some uh what do you call it homeopathic therapy where you know mm-hmm. the, the echinacea and some yeah. bee pollen and good old sleep and stuff like that and he did well he i mean he he bounced right back and now he's kind of immune to that i wish i had gotten a cold and then i'd feel a little bit like i'm immune to this thing <laughs> a lot of people were lucky and got some other cold or some other virus and were able to skip this whole thing altogether. Um, what do you think about the news? Are we flattening the curve? I, I'm kind of following the news. <laughs> I'm probably not as much as a lot of people are. I have no idea. Why? Why, no why, idea. Is, why are you? Why are you not following the news? Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I used to be in a very different line of work, which required me to go to these places around the world where all the action was happening and i would often come home and listen to the news reporting the exact opposite of what i had just witnessed with my own eyes and um that's been over 15 years ago and i haven't really followed the news much since then because i found out they were often full of baloney so i don't know every time i hear something on the news in my mind i'm always going well that's something that might be true Really? Because, yeah, we used to be told, uh, what, uh, only believe half of what you read, right? And so yeah. nowadays, whatever you're reading it really doesn't, it really depends on the validity of it, where it comes from. But half yeah. the stuff, you can't even say half the stuff I read on the internet. How about true. 1% of the internet stuff I read is true? Um, you know, I, I, and you're right, we grew up in the same era. We're used to mm-hmm. uh, weathermen being completely wrong. <laughs> Right. But but in our lifetime, you got to remember now they can pinpoint a storm within a fraction of an inch of your, you know, your body. You're going to have a microclimate, you know, from here to here, from this minute to that minute. So some of the stuff we've had some advancements and I don't think it's fake news. I'm not part of that propaganda machine, but but I have to be a little bit I can't be running scared, but I have to be a little informed. It's hard to walk that thin line, Mr. Osborne. It really, really it's a is. tough one. And I, you know, I, I'm not saying I never watch the news or never listen. I because I do more more than I have. But it's tough when you every time you hear something, you're like, I can't tell for sure if that's true or not. Let's see how things go. When I we were talking on the phone the other day, I was talking about the whole how I kind of approach life with it's an investigative process. So everything's data. It's right. information that may or may not be true. And you sort of pile that up and try to discern truth if you can. And, uh, and I think one man's truth, maybe not another man's bullshit, <laughs> but we had that conversation and we're sticking a pin with that because I'm going to have Mike back on another segment. We got to get this thing figured out, but we've got some really uh, things we want to discuss with you guys. And we want to take a little bit more time. So this is going to be a little bit more of a walk. It's not yeah. going to you know, not going to be for the, the short-minded at all. It's going to be for us that want to really open our minds and expand ourselves. But So look forward mm-hmm. to that in a future podcast with us. Um, I'm going to be uh, ever so um, uh, grateful if you'll play us one more song before I play these guys' family crest and we get out of here. But I'd really like to hear another live one from you. Um, guys, this would be great. All you have to do is I'm serving this up for you. You've got those links on the bottom. All you have to do to go is MikeOsborneMusic.com. Look for that two album donation thing. You can do anything, uh, donate anything directly to this artist here. Um, I also have the PayPal and Venmo links on the bottom. (laughs) They're there for your liking. Um, anything you can do for artists would be great, but I'm going to, I'm going to put a tip in the tip jar, the virtual tip jar right now. Where is it? Ah, cha-ching. Wait, hold on. Let me do this. Wait, hold on. There you go. <laughs> I just put a couple coins in the slot. Uh, the song I'm going to pick this time is I want to dodge the rain because it's looking a little cold here in the bay. That's a good one. All right. So let's do this thing is dodge the rain from Mike Osborne, folks. This 
precious monkey. I'm gonna put his ass on the next tree. I'm gonna shed away the way to destruction. Well, I've been tipping these scales of pain. Yeah, yeah. Damn scream and holler. Scream and holler. Only the truth can dodge your race. everybody awesome dude thank you no thank you i really appreciate uh you hanging out with us today and we gotta get you back in studio i know patrick would love to talk to you again we definitely oh, yeah. gotta hang out to, uh, together again and it would be great to do another gig together again. yes it would you know we'll find something Absol when all this is over absolutely yeah, i'm friend. down every time every time you call i'll be down man it's always a blast <laughs> Same, yeah. same to you, my friend. You know, stay healthy, stay safe, take care of you and yours. And I say that to everybody out there. Um, I've really enjoyed my time here with Mike Osborne. And again, you see those links at the bottom of your screen. They're down there, right along the bottom. Yeah, uh, 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 right there. Check it out. I'm gonna feed give you a musician. A, uh, <laughs> what was that, Mike? It said feed, feed the starving musician. That's right. <laughs> feed the starving artists. Feed the starving musicians. You guys already know my PayPal. You can send me pennies anytime you want. I don't care. Um, I'm going to give you an extra added bonus. Uh, I'm going to let Mike go because he has to go uh, entertain those, those people in the home uh, through a plexiglass window. Don't tap on the glass. It hurts their window. It hurts their ears just like the fish. Please don't do that. But I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to leave you with an extra added little bonus. Um, this is the song I love so much. Um, this is the new video that you just did. And uh, check it out. It's uh, Family Crest from the Unbroken LP. Okay, guys? Mike Osborne, thank you very much, my friend, for being here. I do appreciate it. I'm going to leave all this stuff up until then. Uh, but I'm going to give you guys this. Enjoy it. Bye, Mike. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
In my head. 